your man. Real say say shit. You already know what's going on. So we gotta talk about this pop smoke situation with this label and Steven Victor basically dropping more new music in 2022. But before we get into all that, I'm gonna need you to like, comment, subscribe. You already know. So let's run this shit up. So it was announced today that Pop Smoke they're apparently looking at ways to release more music and by they i'm talking about steven victor 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 whatever the label that was signed pop smoke they're looking to release more music and i'm not surprised i've had weird thoughts about this nigga steven victor who was basically his like manager and the person who signed him so i had weird thoughts about them too because this nigga is basically in charge of everything and i'm pretty sure if i'm not wrong he might have executive produced this album the last one but i don't know if he's personally the one responsible but it seems like he is for making it all these damn features on these songs and releasing a, tr a like previous album that had hella songs that was basically the entirety of his like um catalog that he had in his vault According to his homie, Mike D, who was, I'm pretty sure, there when he died, he basically said that all the songs that he had from the last album were basically the majority of his, like, every single song that he had in his vault. My right, opinion, right. I, I feel like instead of dropping all 30 songs, I would have waited, like, 10 now, 10 next mm -hmm. year, you know? That, that way his name will stay alive instead of just dropping it all at one time, you know? Right, so was this his whole what he had left? Um, I'm guessing this is this is what what he had left in the in the vote. Wow. This, this, yeah. Wow, that that right there, that's a headline right there. That is true. The fact that they released all the music of what he had left, that breaks my heart. Because like you said, I do agree with you. That it should have been a few records here, records there. Yeah, you know, to keep his name to alive. Keep no, that no, like, legacy alive. And he had like issues with what they were doing because he said that they were releasing too much music at once. With the, they they should have split it up into two separate albums so people don't like forget about him and his name fades or anything like that. Because you know everyone has a short ass attention span. But knowing Stephen Victor and Victor Victor Entertainment or whatever the hell their label is called, they basically don't give a fuck about none of that shit. <laughs> they're just gonna drop this shit regardless. Like man, at this point they're gonna have just like voice fucking memos from his phone and shit like that because it's like they're just getting deeper and deeper with the cuts like what fire songs do you think this nigga has at this point like really unless they're going back to like 2015 or some shit but it's like they already released a pro an album with 30 fucking songs on it or some shit i don't know how many songs are on it but it was a lot it was more than you would think and this is borderline getting to the like the level of like XXX Tatasha just releasing shit like just to release it. I don't even know. I saw like a video before where his brother basically was saying that they were doing him dirty and they weren't even like really cutting in the family like that on these like releases. But I hope the family's getting some type of money up from this because that shit would be crazy because this nigga is really going to drop another Pop Smoke album. I mean, I get it. Like niggas want to be like around like on some music shit but it's like man and it's like it really the only person that's really benefiting from this is steven victor which is the craziest part this reminds me of some empire <laughs> like the empire labeled fucking conspiracies that are going on but it's just so weird because it's like i was watching this interview that was with pop smoke's brother who was basically saying Steven Victor had the ability to get this man a car or some type of transportation or security and he didn't so ultimately it's kind of Steven Victor's fault that Pop Smoke died because he could have easily had security and should have had security at that point and that's a label that's your investment but it, if you think about it like what do they gain when it's like when you have security versus what do they gain when the artist dies because when they have security they're gonna have an artist he's gonna be hit for a while but then he's eventually gonna fall off and if he's still signed to y'all he's gonna be selling like fucking not that good of numbers eventually somewhere along the line or he's gonna be hot forever and when he's hot forever he's probably gonna leave and be independent and not need a label anymore so what the fuck do these labels do I'm not saying they kill these niggas, but they definitely invest in like high risk type people 
people because if they die then ultimately they have their catalog pop smoke is going to live forever in his music and they're going to be the ones profiting off that shit especially because like when he was alive he only dropped one album he dropped like one album and then they dropped the rest of this shit posthumously and like had mixtapes or whatever the fuck he dropped so it's like man however many albums he dropped it was probably with the label and in doing so like they're gonna have control over this nigga shit for like i don't know forever hopefully i don't know they probably own the masters i wouldn't be surprised if it was some like 360 deal type shit so it's like at this point they're gonna just drop whatever man and they're reaching at this point it's like two possible humans albums later it's crazy at least juice worlds i mean like they had a bunch of leaks on theirs and it was just leaks from the internet but like this is like kind of crazy like if they had to fill it up with so many like features and stuff like that on the last album imagine what this is gonna be this isn't even gonna be a pop, pop smoke album this is gonna be like a dj khaled type album you know where they just like get a bunch of shit but it's gonna be full of features unless the songs are gonna be like a minute long it's it's ridiculous at this point and it just shows like it's really profit over everyone and i just find it so crazy that niggas like steven victor be flexing like all their cars and their car collection and stuff for magazines and shit like that when it's really off the back of artists like this and this nigga definitely profiting off this shit but it's just crazy that he'd be flexing that like that and then it's like he couldn't even get pop smoke a car man and this nigga couldn't even get like a car 